My name is Jan Welch, and welcome to the third episode of The Vault, the Then and Now YouTube channel. The Vault is my personal collection of VHSC, Hi8, and Mini DV tapes that I filmed throughout the years. Each episode of The Vault will feature raw footage from one of those tapes, along with commentary for myself, and sometimes with commentary of skaters featured on that tape. The tape in this episode was filmed around 2004 and features a tour we made up to Sacramento, California for the Mobile Skate Series. This was a Remedies and 4x4 combination tour, which is the first time we actually ever toured together as companies. The people on this tour included myself, Kato, John Elliott, Brian Shima, Chris Haffey, Nick Wood, Connor O'Brien, and Jeff Stockwell. We had two vehicles, a rental van, and Jeff Stockwell drove his car. And we visited Bakersfield, California to visit Intuition Skate Shop and do some street skating and then head up to Fresno to visit the skate park and do some street skating there as well. In Fresno, we met up with Joey Hara and Derek Henderson. And Derek was just a kid back then, so it's pretty cool to see this footage. There's a ledge they took us to called the Pooh Ledge, which you'll find out why it's called that in this video. It's kind of silly. But Chris Haffey absolutely destroyed that ledge. And you've seen some of his footage before. It's absolutely amazing what he did. Um, so yeah, it's really cool footage on this tape. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to hit the like button if you do. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Make sure to hit the bell icon to be notified of all new uploads. Liking this channel and subscribing really helps me to provide more content. And make sure to leave any comments or suggestions below that you might have. I've also started a Patreon page that I'm going to be offering exclusive footage, behind the scenes footage. It's going to only be available to Patreon members. And there's a link to that below, as well as links to my social media. All right, let's get started with the video. This rail is at a school in Bakersfield. I don't know the name of it, but it's been a ton of videos. It's a super cool rail. It's pretty low. Jeff and Connor were the only ones skating it on this tape. There should be another tape that has more footage from this rail and some other spots that we visited while in Bakersfield. Um, at, on this tour, Kato rented a minivan. And we took that van with myself, John Elliott, Chris Haffey, Nick Wood, and Connor O'Brien. And uh, we invited um, Jeff Stockwell on the trip, even though he wasn't riding for 4x4 or Remedies at that point. But him and Shima rode together. Jeff had just gotten his Volkswagen Golf. So they, they were riding together, doing their thing. And we had our little crew in the van, which was a lot of fun. Uh, one story I remember about the van was um, Kato loves cheese. Loves it. And he loves stinky cheese. He loves to leave it out. He loves to make it as stinky as possible. And this trip was really hot. I mean, it was in 100 degrees every single day, every spot. So we did a lot of thrift store shopping during the day and, you know, skating later in the evening. But anyway, Kato had this cheese that he really liked and he hung it from the rear view mirror of the car. And once we got to probably Sacramento, it had melted into the air vents of the car, of the rental van. So it was just melted cheese and air vents and the whole van smelled like cheese. It was absolutely miserable. So anyway, new spot, Nick Wood skating. Connor's Get filming Connor. second angle, like taking was. Kato's spot. I'm, that's another tape I have to find. It's a second angle tape from this tour. We had John Elliott there with shooting photos. I'd love to see those photos, but those prints are long gone. Uh, probably somewhere in the Daily Bread archives. There he is right there. Um, anyway, John's skating the Remedies, which this is pretty much, you know, after John had quit skating the first time. When he was, you know, done with razors, we had started rat tail four by four. There's John right there skating those rims. But Kato gave him some remedies. This was the first time he skated them on this trip, and this is the first trick he did on these remedies. And he skated these remedies for a little while before he kind of stepped back from skating again and focused more on, you know, working on the rat tail brands and ground control and everything. But Nick's really once that rail transfer which is pretty gnar it's two square rails goes john again front nugan ah uh, not quite Soldad brothers it's a good band saw him play a couple times with john there we go not not perfect boom look at that oh so much steez on john elliott pain Bitching about his skates hurting. I can't believe he does that shit like first hour he skates him. I can't believe he's actually skating the first hour with him right now. Tato's amazed that he's skating him. It's gotta be the skates. <laughs> That's really funny. It's gotta be the skates. Alright. 
I don't think Happy uh, wanted to do anything at this spot. It's just all Nick Wood. Where's your head at, dude? Oh. Basically, what happened is this guy right here get, get woke up at 6 in the morning. 6 a.m. And I drove all the way to Bakersfield from San Diego. He's talking about Nick Wood. The temperature of about 100 degrees. There's young Jeff. And he's about to pull it! Hey, do, you have any, do you have 50 oh. cents? No, I don't have anything for you. Kato denied Jeff of 50 cents. That is not cool, Kato. What's up with that? Oh. Come on, Nick. You got this. Ah, oh, so was, sick. And then Connor, he decides he wants something. Seeing if he can transfer over the rail to the rail. But I can tell you right now, not going to happen. Ah, oh, look at that. And that's it. That's his last try. Now we're at the uh, Kern County um, is a county where Bakersfield's at. And this is a school. It's like a like a juvenile, um, a kind of juvie school for juvenile delinquents. And um, it's all fenced off, barbed wire. But it's a school, you know. It's just like a prison school. Uh, and they got a nice big kink trail in front of it. That Nick was sessioning. Apparently, he used to have a security camera there, but they removed it for some reason. So, it kind of helps us from not getting busted on this session. But Bakersfield is a pretty crazy town, you know. Got a drug problems and you know inland California, but it's also got a good skate scene, good skate spots. You know, Matt Mickey's held down Bakersfield for years with Intuition Skate Shop, doing nothing but great things for the town. Um, but yeah, now we got Kato up top. It's very hot. Yeah. Very hot. Kato with a point three on the kink drill. I'm sure that footage looks... I mean, that's a big kink drill for filming with a point yeah. three lens. So I'm sure the footage is pretty phenomenal. But, you know, back in the day, we did a lot of... We filmed a lot of big rails with fisheye lenses, you know. You look at the footage today, people filming... You know, Anthony Medina's gotten really good with fisheye filming. Um, you know, they're great for making small things look big. And making big things look tiny once you get away from the, t the camera. And there's Ryan Northway. Ryan Northway for another Bakersfield session. Wearing his Project Portman shirt. It was a cool brand. It's an old ground control shirt designed by Chris Peel. Chris Peel a, has a second. Oh, he was our first interview in the Then and Now podcast. So make sure to check out the podcast uh, that's on this YouTube channel. There's a video version that includes footage and added material to, that goes along with it. Oh, look at that. Nick Wood with the top acid. Super sick. But yeah, the podcast is now available as well. Streaming services. So Apple Music, Spotify. Um, all those, all those things, Pandora. So anywhere you can get a, boob, a uh, podcast, it's available. So listen to our episodes. Here's a cop. Then get his commentary. I'll do top No, no commentary. No, we need it. He wants to see it. Don't do that either. Get me in trouble, man. Here's a cool cop. Well, um. Can he do it for the cop? Oh, no. But to wall ride would have been really cool. Um, I remember, you know, a lot of these schools, we got in trouble quite a bit skating. I mean, I probably went to court 15 times in San Diego for skating infractions or misdemeanors for trespassing. Um, but, you know, sometimes we would skate a lead spot. And there would be a police officer there watching us. Being like, oh, this is so cool. My kid skates. And then he leaves. And then five minutes later, another police officer shows up and gives us tickets. So it was, uh, it was a lot of going to court. And usually you didn't get in too much trouble. You usually got thrown out. But I remember one time in particular, we were at this high school that's part of UCSD in San Diego. And Haffy and the Santee guys and... All the young kids were skating there, and then it was me and John and Brian. Everybody was older. We got busted by a lot of cops, and everybody got tickets. And 
you know, we all went to us older guys. We all went to the adult court, and it got thrown out. The judge kind of laughed at it because you know, skating. They just thought it was silly. But all the young kids, like Chris and the Santee guys, all got community service which was pretty sucky for them because we totally got off and they had to do community service for skating. It's day two of our road trip up to the MSS Sacramento. We're heading out of Bakersfield up to Fresno to skate some of the local spots. There's Jeff Stockwell's car with Brian Sheeman in the passenger seat. Fresno. We made it to Fresno where we just arrived at the cement skate park and now we're going to meet up with some people. Oh my God. Go skating with them. Yeah. Good job. This is a really cool park. Just really hot. What's going on? Well, we just drove about 100 miles to Fresno, California from Bakersfield, and we're here to check out this skate park. It looks really good, uh, but I think you have to wear a helmet, so we're going to see what that's all about. And you do have to wear a helmet. We ended up getting kicked out uh, after, well, once we switched spots, we got kicked out of the skate park for no helmets. Somebody came, cops showed up, and made everybody leave who didn't have helmet signs, so kind of sucked, but today... Probably most guys on tour would actually have helmets with them. Back then, no one had a helmet. So it's definitely changed a lot with uh, helmet wearing. I think um, while we're getting older, you're not as indestructible. And a lot of people we know have had head injuries. So, you know, I wear a helmet now when I skate park or anything. I never wore one back then, but I was lucky. And so were all these guys. Up, Brian? Shima, you like that park? Tired. Really? How's it look? Kato's filming right now. This is where we met up with Joey um, and Brent Henderson and this guy Jared, a few other locals from Fresno. John skating at this park too. Fresno surprised me on this trip that how many skaters there were because, you know, around this time skating was already on the decline and pretty dead in most places. And Fresno's, you know, a kind of different city than most California cities because it's inland. It's on the coast and it's, but it has a lot of skaters back then. I'm not sure about now, but back then it had a lot of skaters. You'll see at the next session how many kids were there. And I'm wearing some terrible shorts. Look at that. Super hot. So I'm my shorts. Hair is all curly. And not so, not so fond of my 2004 rims 4x4 tour look. There's Joey Hara. Joey Hara is just a local legend. Um, he's still skating. Him and Brent Henderson still skating together. They're skating all these years. I actually didn't realize that Joey was still skating. I just caught, connected with him uh, on Instagram because of this tape. And he's the one who actually told me that Brent Henderson was the kid on his tape because I was asking people who so many skaters were because I didn't recognize them so many years later but yeah so yeah it's cool to, that this project's helping me touch base with some skaters I haven't talked to in years this is pretty much the main thing people skated on this trip Kato's still filming we kind of traded cameras and perspectives so I hope I have this other tape that he filmed and all these other tapes from the sessions so we'll see I have a lot of stuff to go through I have a, one of the tours that's coming up is a Vicious tour. So that should be either next episode of Vault or the one after that is going to be footage from the Vicious tour, which is awesome footage. You know, also has Stockwell on it. And then like Pancho Barrera and, and, uh, and Chris Cheshire and Sean Santa Maria. You know, it's going to be a pretty good tape. But yeah, this one. Back to this tape. Look at that. Backside, backslide. So much steez. But yeah, I mean, I'd be sweating balls out here. No shirts. Coming from San Diego where it's always 70 degrees and sunny, you know, nice weather. Going up to Northern California where it's 30 degrees hotter. It's uh, definitely a change. This is another local, Jerry Peterson. This is the only time I ever went to Fresno in all my years of living in California. You know, I visited so many places there quite frequently. So it was definitely cool to be able to go to this town and meet all these guys and gather all this footage. There's another Sacramento tape too because there's a king trail that I remember Haffy doing. In, I mean, sorry, in Fresno. He did a, the king trail in Fresno that's pretty gnarly. So that should be on another tape. Connor. 
Uh, Lace to True Mizu. Uh, we had to leave the skate park, so now we're gonna go skate street. All right, this one we got kicked out. And next spot, this is the pool ledge, and you'll find out shortly when Jared tells you. And Connor, he spit on that ledge, not on the ledge, but on that rail, and. People keep putting their hands in the spit. And for some reason, Connor didn't go down and wipe it off, which would have been a nice thing to do. Oh, look at that. Half each has got his hands in Connor's spit. I am so sorry. Not cool. Not cool at all. Joey's going for top. So it's a pretty gnarly ledge. I mean, what is it, like 15 stairs? Jared's trying to kind grind it. Halfy. Trick number two. So grind. Easy. Boom. Uh, local spot in Fresno. And we found a, well, how many stairs is it? 16. 16 stair ledge on the right. And we're going to try to get some shots for the video. Oh, here Do it is. Do why we call this poo ledge? Yes. Because someone was skating it, and they fell at the bottom of the rail over there, and they fell into some poo. So we call it poo ledge. Cool. It's the poo ledge. <laughs> every spot has a name, and every spot has a history. And this is the history of the poo ledge. There's a really loud, I don't know what it was, but you can hear buzzing in the background. Super loud buzzing, which kind of ruins the aesthetic of the spot. Uh, pretty gnarly, ledge of kind grind. But yeah, look at all those people. It's a lot of, a lot of skaters, you know. And see that guy in the steps wearing a Section 9 shirt? That is a young Brent Henderson. And you will see a couple maneuvers from him on this day. Joey with the top sole laced it so good. Amazing. Oh, Jared. Oh, man. And that's Derek Henderson. Look at that. Such a young kid. Oh, my God. Happy back torque on that ledge. It's so gnarly. And that was a close call for Joey. Almost went over. Haffy. Switch front Nugan. Super clean. Joey's trying that 270 back Royale. Not working out for him. Oh, Jared, dude, you're so close with these kind grinds. Haffy with another switch Nugan. I like the first one better. And a halfy with a true Savannah. Now that was absolutely incredible. So good. Jared, so close on these kind grinds. My oh, man. Half. Oh no, Derek Henderson again. So grind. Now halfy, true mistrial. And the angle did not do it justice. So I switched it up. And Haffy does it again. Laced it. Super clean. Amazing. Joey is trying to sweaty that ledge. Uh, him and Jared. Kind grind sweaty. Those are two gnarly ass tricks to trying that ledge. Joey wants it. Oh my god, his front foot almost came off. Or it did come off, but saved himself. Jared over the ledge. No more. I gotta pull the shade. And Joey laces it. Look at that. That was awesome. And this spot, Derek Henderson Royale. Boom. Look at that. It's a racquetball court at some school. It's pretty amazing to have met Derek Henderson that day, 17 years ago. Uh, you know, I didn't remember meeting him until watching this footage. And there was Happy with a normal front for Arthur Nugan. Um, but yeah, you know, seeing Derek on this tape as a young kid, and he's about to bust a hard trick right here. Royale, Ali Topsol attempt, so sick. And uh, yeah, I actually talked to Joey. This is Joey right here. I talked to Joey yesterday on Instagram, which was cool. I caught up with him. I haven't talked to him in years. So after watching this tape, you know, I reached out to him to actually find out who that kid was. So. Yeah, pretty stoked that these tapes brought me together. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, I'm so stoked that these tapes are bringing me together with people I haven't talked to in years. So, it's an added bonus to doing this project. You guys are going to see hydrant. this footage. And 
I get to reminisce on my past and reconnect with old friends. New spot. Kato and John. Still in Fresno. We're in Fresno. We're in Fresno High. This guy, Jeff Stockwell. Damn. Jeff's fan club. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> and Derek. Royale. Alley pops old. So sick. What a gnarly trick on that ledge. So stoked that he has a pro skate from Razors. Now we got Connor O'Brien at this drop rail. It's the last spot of this tape. Wearing his 4x4 Asteroids shirt designed by Chris Peel. Connor is such a badass too. I mean, what a crazy group of skaters I was surrounded by back in these days. John back there getting some photos. I'd love to see those photos. Ah, top so laced, super clean. Am I a shot, John? John, I coordinating. How far can I move forward? <laughs> like that? I really do miss these days. They were so much fun. And a top acid. Yeah, sick. And Connor. And we finish it off with a fish brain, and Jared is going to come and give us a kind grind attempt right here and almost twist his ankle. My god, Chris Haffey absolutely destroyed that ledge in Fresno. He was so good back in the day. He's still good now. And then Derek Henderson, Royale, Ali Topsol on a handball ledge spot. It was crazy spot to do that trick on. It was so cool to run into him back in the day like that. And, you know, he's changed a lot throughout the years. I mean, it was 17 years ago. But it's nostalgic. It's cool. And it was a fun session. Joey Hara, great dude. I used to know him back in the Scum Magazine days. He used to send me uh, photos from when him and his brother lived in Japan that were featured in Scum Magazine. So pretty cool trip and memories. And I'm glad I found this tape and was able to show it to you guys. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure to hit the like button below and leave any comments or suggestions below as well. And make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It really helped me out. And once you're subscribed, you can hit the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload new videos. Like I said in the beginning, I've added a Patreon page and the link is below to that. And the Patreon is a place where I'm gonna be providing exclusive content to its supporters. B-roll, edits, different things that you won't see on this YouTube channel. So go ahead and visit the link and become a supporter. And I also have links to my social media below, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So you can go ahead and follow me on all of those. Take care, and I'll see you next time at The Vault.